daytime. I have to deal with the rain now. Foolish enemies plan to storm my base. Oh, most unwise. Sorry. Get into my, my normal recording here. Don't have any extra hoe. Gardening hoe. Mind you. What's going on my roadies? My name is Dustin and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. This is going to be episode or part number 38. I do apologize about the rain. Um, I just logged into the game after experiencing a crash, which about gave me a heart attack. Um, unfortunately, it is just turning daytime, so I cannot do anything about the rain. Hopefully it doesn't look too terrible. Anyways, um, so what we're going to be doing today, I have every intention of setting up the mob farm. We'll see how well that goes, though. But this is the mob farm. Like I said, it's going to look like, like my cursor on the mini-map. So, you know, this cursor here on the mini-map, you know, that, that looks nice and all. But, uh, no, it, apparently um, this, because it's daytime and because it's not too far of a, a, a spawnable area... They do spawn in here, but this is quite clear glass, meaning that they don't spawn during daytime because there's a light inside there, so they don't spawn. Um, every single corner and every wall has this quite clear glass, which I'm probably going to have to update at some point. I'm waiting to do that, though, until I get better vector plates. Like, I can't accidentally get in the farm at all. And just because it's messing with my OCD and I just want to mess with yours as well, this floor here on the bottom has one, two, three, four for a height every other floor has three that was not by design not my intention i intended to have a four high but um very tired sleep deprived i did the whole thing but it took like two hours to do even with the builder's wand it still takes quite a bit of time to do this stuff uh, don't mind the watch beeping now today we're going to discuss how we're going to process the mobs once they get to this collection zone as you can see every single corner it starts from the outsides and zigzags its way that's what i intended to have happen what i intended actually was a big like platform up here and just kind of push them all out to the sides each of the four corners and then they just kind of be this would be used for like transporting them not actually spawning them but now that they spawn on here i don't have to build like this giant platform that would have taken like three more hours or so but today we're going to process the mobs by having them come down here and get uh taken up by what's known as a mob masher now this thing is pretty sick um I don't, I don't think I ever really talk like that, but I do, apparently. Requires a bunch of iron and diamond and the redstone gear, but it shouldn't be too, too resource intense. But it also has these upgrades that we're going we're gonna to go over and probably get up to a max of 10. So there's sharpness plus 1. You have uh, a looting plus 10, or plus 1, max of 10. Fire aspect, mm, we might do that, just because. Uh, mob masher upgrade for smite. You also have um, Bane of Anthropods, which was the spiders, max of 10 as well. And this last one, which is Beheading, meaning we can get more heads. Now, to kind of go over it, Skeletons in particular, this is the main reason I'm doing this. I put an angel, angel block over here. This might be my AFK point, in all honesty. Just because I seem to get a decent amount of spawn rate from standing from this far away from it. It's not like... Normally, what I would do is I would like measure out from the distance and get it exactly perfect. But you know, uh, but the witch water here turns skeletons into wither skel or skeletons, so we can get wither skulls with from beheading. That's the main idea of doing this, as well as some of the other loot that we're gonna get. Now, I do want to talk about how we can get these to spawn all the time, because that's eventually the plan. So this quite clear glass obviously allows light inside. There's this thing I think it's called dark clear glass. See if I can find it. Yeah, dark clear glass. Now it blocks light, but in order to get it, we need some sort of black dye, and quite clear glass is what I'm going to use because I have so much of it. In fact, if we go over here, I took, I made a second supremium, actually a third one. Third one's over there. Um, I made a second one over here to do glass, and all the glass would then be processed into quite clear glass. In fact, these are still kind of going here. So let me take a little bit more out, throw it in the system. I've been storing it in here because we have the room. Quite 3.2. Um, 
but I'm also trying to get black dye. Now, as you know, Botania has all the flowers and stuff, and that's what this failed attempt. Maybe it's not too much of a failed attempt. I was able to plant the petals over on the farm, so I thought maybe if I hoed the ground on fertilized dirt, I can plant them over here. And because the growth crystal was over there, it actually grew the plant without me having to use bone meal. That's the idea. So this, yeah, this will let me plant on here. Meaning that we could farm dye, which is pretty intense, if you ask me. Now, I might need to add some water sources over here, just so that way it has some extra, you know, fertility. That way it can continue to, I don't know, continue to, oop, I did not mean to do that. I was going to try to punch the air to really emphasize my point, but that messed it up. But uh, we can add some water. Like, the rain is probably doing this right now. And I'm trying to see if I can get it to work on camera, but it doesn't seem to want to work. I want one of you to, to grow up, so that way I can show the viewers I'm not going insane. I mean, I might be. Let's be honest. I'm sure there's another, like, hoe you can get in the game that would be a lot better for doing this. Might do it a lot faster, or like a bigger area. I think my Matic would be a perfect time to use this. But I keep forgetting that I have a Matic. So. But this is what I'm going to be doing more in my spare time. Just kind of messing around over here, getting all the dye necessary. This is four stacks of dirt, so this should give me more than enough. Um, give it a couple of times. But the problem with it is it requires four dye of any kind. I could make a squid farm, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I believe you can actually get a ghast farm because of squid, which water I think turns squids into ghasts. I think I could just plant these on normal, yeah, farmland. I'll turn them over to fertilized farmland off camera, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've been up to over here. And show in the process that I'm going to have to just sit down and do for a long time. I'm kind of curious why none of these have actually grown because it was like almost immediately after I set it down over there on one of the farms, it just immediately grew. So I don't understand why it's being very camera shy now. It's very weird. Okay, they're all planted away and everything. I probably should use my regular hoe. Oh well, I'll just destroy it because I don't need it no more. But the only reason, the other reason why I made a diamond hoe is because eventually we're going to get more farmlands uh, elsewhere. Let me for the time being just stick that in there. Yeah, I'll just have to keep an eye on those. So, yeah, I'll, just, I'll store the rest over here. That's fine. So now that over there, that 64 times by 4, is now going to create, I think it's two per petal. Oh, finally, stop raining. I think it's two per petal. Two, a petal will make the tall, and the tall makes four, actually. So that's going to be 16 stacks. If I'm not mistaken, if the math checks out, which it might not, I don't know. But I'm looking forward to it. So let's get on with the rest of the episode here. You guys didn't, you know, want to watch this episode or didn't click on it, I'm sure, for watching me do nothing but farm. Or at least this type of farming. <laughs> you guys wanted to check out this. So uh, let's get to making the mob masher. So the mob masher... I have seen somebody else mess around with it before. It is a very interesting device. Um, let's go mob masher. We're going to need pretty much everything. So let's get iron spikes, which means that we're going to need some iron swords. We're going to need three swords. One, two, three. Then we're going to need these spikes. Got that. Get the diamond. We would need the diamond sword. One, two, three. Good thing I just had enough diamonds for that. What am I missing? Oh, wait, I need more diamonds. And did I really? Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think I did. Let's go ahead and just tell it to auto-craft a couple of these. Let's get the diamond spikes. Um, I believe we're also going to need one of these. Oh, it's because I don't have planks. I never have planks in this system. I should really tell it to have them all the time. Let's just grab one of those redstone gears, and then now let's make up the mob masher. So now, if I want 10 of these, which I do, I'm going to need 40 of these, right? That makes sense. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I can always just look. Swad. Twenty-one. Thirty-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's forty. And then gold nuggets and redstone. Just like that. So now we got ten of those. Looting. We're going to need a ton of these as well. I didn't mean to make 22, but apparently that's how much redstone we have. Um, I didn't mean to do that either. Looting. Excuse me? Mob. It's going to be mob masher upgrade. So there's these two. Ah. And then we're going to need fire. Do we really need fire? I mean, maybe. Let's see. I don't have flint in here. Um, flint. Where was flint? Flint. No. Flint. No. Flint's from gravel. And I have flint here. Yeah, okay. I don't have a lot of flint. That's the one resource that I don't seem to have quite a lot of. Um, so let's get, we're going to need 40 of these bad boys. So, all right, now we're going to need redstone again. I think we might be running out of redstone, at least in the system. I do know that we did, I actually set up an area to do a lot more, um, redstone making, specifically redstone, um, rotten flesh. Ooh, we don't have a lot of that over here. I just don't really need it. Also, to make these vector plates, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. Oh, there's a... Let's get a good look at the farm while I talk about this. So, in order to... Whoop, there it is. To get all these vector plates, I needed to get mobs to actually get killed by the smeltery. Right now, they're going to the void, by the way. It's way down there. Uh, but... In order to get all the vector plates, we needed coagulated blood because I don't have a slime farm of any kind and I didn't want to sit at a smeltery. So what I did was I actually took most of the first level, I think it was just the first level, not everything else, and just kind of had them funneled over here into like a Tinker's Construct smeltery and just slowly killed them off and converted their blood into uh, coagulated blood. I also got a couple other resources, but I just forfeited them like Ender Dust. We got some other stuff um, some other liquids like redstonia and stuff like that or redstone. So this is how it's going to look when it's actually operational. And they move very slowly. I do know that I do need to upgrade the vector plates to the highest tier, but that's going to need uh, wither skeleton. Um, I think dark sugar, I think, is what we're going to need for that. So let me just um, take a look. We're going to need the dark sugar for tier 2, it looks like. And then to get up to the third tier, we're going to need wither dust blocks. So we're going to need a lot of wither dust in order to get it to tier 3, which is why I want to get the skeletons uh, for their wither skulls and all that. Because we can turn wither skulls, I think, into wither dust. I think 3. And then uh, we can also get, I think, maybe wither bones. At least I believe, anyways. No, I think it's just the skulls pretty sure anyways um, because we can just turn this Ooh, another star generator I'm not doing that yet what is that what I have no idea what that is if that's a fun mod let me know down in the comments I have no idea yeah every skull goes into three wither dust and we're gonna need a lot of it so um, I totally spaced what I was going over there for <laughs> flush uh, yum yum flesh. Anyways, uh, let's grab a thing of, uh, compressed flesh. And then, whoop, come down over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Put those in there. And then we're going to go back to mob masher. That would be smite. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then Bane of Anthropod, I believe. Do we have spider eyes? Yeah, we do. There's a whole chest over there. And I guess while we're over here, might as well check to see if there's anything else I need while over here. Um, it's just iron and golden helmets. Would these helmets work, I wonder? Because I do have quite a lot in here. I may have to repair them, but I mean, at that point, I'll just make new ones. I don't really care all that much. Um, let me just grab a bunch of gold and iron from down here and start making those. Wow, gold's almost full. That's interesting. All right, throw the spider eyes in there. And then we're going to make up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those. 
And then we're going to need these this beheading. So we're going to need 20 iron helmets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we're also going to need gold helmets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Why did that seem different? Oh, it's because there's 20. And then I believe it should be just like that. But I need more redstone. So I might as well show you guys the redstone area I made. I need a better way to get down here. But I just kind of siphoned it off the main lines of these four over here. Um, I made it completely over here just compressed redstone. So redstone goes in here. Everything else gets discarded, which the only other things are like gunpowder. There's gold and I think blaze. All of that gets discarded to become redstone because we need tons of it. It's, that down there is pretty much what this area is right here, this area, minus uh, it's not keeping track of anything else. It's just redstone that it's holding on to. Everything else is being tossed away, at least downstairs. So let's go ahead and throw these in here in the system. Let's get the rest of these. So now we got all the upgrades that we're gonna need. I didn't even check this thing to see if it can. Yeah, it does accept every single upgrade. I thought for just a second that it may not. And I believe, last I recall, this needs a redstone block to work, and that's it. Um, I will grab some item conduits, because we will need those. Um, is there anything else? I will need other conduit, like the fluid conduit. And I'm also going to need my wrench, my one of two wrenches that I have. And now it's starting to be daytime, which is good. Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. We're going to need some stone blocks. And before anybody asks any questions, I'll explain what this is. So this is basically a stone one. Stone was, because down below, it takes a while to burn stone in this over here. Uh, I think it actually got done. Yeah, I think it actually got done. So I decided I'll just make a Supremium Furnace. I probably should use a Supremium Furnace down there instead of anything else and just have it, you know, request to get coal blocks and that sort of thing. Just keep the system stocked up of stone or um, stone and coal blocks, I guess. But uh, I will wait here until all the mobs are out of the farm before proceeding because we need a we need a clear farm. And this is a good thing why they don't spawn during the daytime. So I'll be right back. All right, so all the mobs are fully out of the system. I'm actually extending this down by three blocks. Uh, the reason why I'm extending this down to begin with is I want to put some witch water in here, and I want it like a three gap before. So water is going to rest on here. Um, we're going to need something to prevent the water from just kind of going all the way down, so I'm going to place some signs along the blocks I'm placing now. Um, and then when that... Let's just start doing that, I guess. Um, when this is all done, oop, oh, that's right, you need to hold down shift. And once this is all done, is that, there we go. Um, once this is all done, then we will start the mob masher area, which is going to be just an absolute treat because I can't wait to start getting a ton of loot from just being AFK. I mean, this is already like, the original farm was a 32 block, I believe, in length. So it wasn't like it was a really long farm of any stretch of the imagination. But the fact that it is now not only twice as long going out this way, but also out in every single direction and it's five layers this is already producing a heap of a lot more mobs than the original mob farm ever did so this i'm really excited to see in full action especially when we get all the vector plates going now there is a slight problem with witch water you can't really come into contact with it you'll get a lot of like nausea and stuff like that in the game so i know i have way too many buckets for this but i kind of want to get the water bit more evenly coated I guess let's uh, let's get the middle of each of these good thing it doesn't make a lot of noise either like normal water I'll just use eight buckets for now I'll hold on to the rest of them just in case we need to use them but that will transform creepers into super creepers I think it transforms skeletons into the wither skeletons 
Um, I'm not exactly sure what else. I think cave spiders to turn spiders into cave spiders. And I believe that is about all it transforms. I don't think it does anything else. I brought the cobblestone in case I needed to use it, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need it to use it. The water doesn't make noise. I was going to turn it into like a solid thing, but it seems like it's fine. Now, what has me slightly concerned... Hmm, I'm going to go underneath and into it. I'm going to go up above it. Just to show you, this is what mobs will be experiencing, I think. Well, maybe not. I think it's just players. But what I'm curious about is if when a mob hits it, if they hold down space, are they going to get stuck here? No, the answer is no. Can confirm. I also can't... Oh, I went back up into it. I can't see nothing right now. So that's not good. Let me go ahead and I believe I'm flying. Yep, there's a platform. I'm going to go grab some quite clear glass as well as a builder's wand now because I do want to make it somewhat... Ooh, I don't know why I'm getting those weird, you know, stops and frame there. That's that's a little concerning. Um, but I'm going to grab this and get some quite cl quite clear glass because we can use it for the kill area. I'm going to build kind of like an open area like this so you can see them being killed and whatnot. So we're going to kind of layer this up and then use the builder's wand, go down about maybe three or four more. Actually, I probably shouldn't use the corners because I want to put regular stone on those. Let's go ahead and get that. Get this other one over here. So this will be two, three four maybe five five will five will be good and then i'll just fill in these corners like so all right so now we've kind of gotten this going here um, let me go ahead and grab the builder's wand two three four five so that it's good to know that one block in the middle can spawn mobs you know um, I might put some blaze lamps or something on the back just so it kind of lights us up a little bit. Or maybe just keep it. It might be might be fine the way it is. Um, let me get out my pickaxe here. Let's get the redstone block and then the mob masher like so. Um, I did forget to bring vector plates, but that's fine for the time being. We're going to talk about uh, getting all the resources out of here. If they really could spawn on top of that, I don't think they'll be happy about that. Let's be honest. Just throw all these in there. Do not touch. Actually, I'll just I'll take those back. <laughs> I don't trust myself that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one over here and one over here. Uh, one of these is gonna be for fluid. Oh, excuse me. One of these is gonna be for fluid. The other one's gonna be for XP. Or that didn't make any sense. One of them's gonna be for items, and the other one's gonna be for liquid XP. So now we just kind of. Take this down a little ways, like so, and now I just need to hook this up. I was thinking of, or trying to find ideas on how to uh, not have these wires go out that way, but it's not going to work. At least none of the ways that I could think of would work. Um, yeah, yeah, it's connected. I don't need that fluid conduit there. Pick that back up. Let's go ahead and patch up that hole. Um, so now I'm just going to bring this all the way across, I guess. So let me do that real quick. Oh, uh, we have to work against the clock. <laughs> Mobs are going to be spawning any second now. And hopefully they'll just kind of spawn onto it, or uh, drop onto it, rather. I doubt that they actually will, but it'll be kind of cool to, to see it in action, at the very least. Um, let's get this last piece there. Let's throw in the quite clear glass. Ooh, wait, I need to grab, I need to reach in there to it. Can I, can I just barely, I can just barely get it. There we go. Throw in the upgrades. Um, okay. There's a witch? Just a character? I'm not sure. Yeah, zombies don't really do much. They don't uh, turn into anything. So I did get all this kind of set up. Yep, there goes some mobs. So this will generate liquid XP because it, it acts as if the player is actually doing it. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me run all the way back over here. 
make sure that the other conduit for the liquid XP is connected because right now it's not. Okay, that's connected. Now I am getting liquid XP even before I turned or connected it, so I'm assuming that this whole system is actually going to work. Let me go ahead and uh, let me hop into the bed. I brought one of the beds over here because I, I want to turn it back to day. I need to do one final thing, which is add the vector plate to the bottom, and then I'll show you guys with it working in progress. Hey, we're already starting to get a couple of uh, heads. That's nice. I had to get a quite clear glass. Ooh, look at that. A wither skeleton. That's pretty nice, man. Let me just uh, yoink, yoink. And let me just help you there, buddy. There you go. What is that little... Yeah, that's a player character. Goodbye. And then let me get this. There we go. So now what I'm going to do, just so I deactivate this bad boy, if it hits me, I'll be fine. But I don't want it to kill me. So this, I'm going to kind of go in a circle, like a vortex sort of a thing. Like that. And then I'm going to hop back out, grab that other glass over here. Wow, already some wither dust. Drop of evil, a, a necrotic bone. Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's a modifier. Interesting. So now we're going to start getting some loot that I don't know anything about. But that means that I'm going to need to start filtering some of the like other loot that we don't necessarily need all that much. Let me just place the items, the upgrades back in here real quick. Seal this bad boy up. And she's all set. She's all good to go. Oh, there is only one other thing I did forget to do, which is add speed upgrades to the, the, the vacuum chest. But uh, that's not... It's not where that goes, Dustin. Oh, 15 is a stack. I thought it was 16. I'm thinking normal Minecraft again. I don't know. Update on my experiment over here. As soon as I added water, it just immediately, they started going. So now I'm going to go ahead and fertilize the rest of these while I'm still waiting for it to become nighttime. Jeez. What's really cool about this fertilizer, not only does it fertilize the ground, but it also acts as bone meal. So I can just sit here and just keep spam clicking all the plots that aren't full. And it'll grow the rest of them fairly quickly, actually. Except for every once in a while, the block doesn't want to update that easily. Let's just see one more right there. Okay. Nope, there's another one. Oh, I ran out. Now it's officially nighttime. I'll show you guys a look at the mob farm in just a second. I think I have an idea. I know what I'm doing next time, though. I do want to do a little bit more um, experimenting with farming, like legit actual farming of crops and whatnot, because it's been... Uh-oh. The last time I did this, it crashed. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> uh, the last time that I did anything with farming was many, many episodes ago. Um, I need to reload op open the game now. I don't know what what's with that, when it, it's like bad, I'm scatterbrained. Whenever that, whenever I go to break that one thing, is when everything goes wrong, and it's only after spam clicking a bunch of crops. I don't get it. I'll be right back. I don't know what it is with this block. I put it over here. It's fine. Break it over here. Fine. When I take it over there, place it down. Fine. When I break it to bring it back, broken. Everything is just wrong. So, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. We seem to have gotten a lot of work done this time. We seem to have, you know, because usually we don't. It's a little surprising. Big shock. But I'll leave a link in the description as well for the Wikipedia page that has, or not Wikipedia, it's curseforge.com uh, for the... I think it's Mob Grinding Utils, which is this mod pack. It has other things like the Singularity Tanks, the XP Taps like we just were messing around with over there. Can we over to get some Blaze Lamps and totally spacing it right now? 
multitasking is not my strong, strong suit apparently. Um, but you know, it, it has a lot more to the mod pack than a lot of people might think, including myself. So let me go ahead and light this up here just cause I feel like it. It's not updating the block. That's weird. I'm having a lot of update issues apparently, but, uh, there you go. That is the mob farm in action. It's very slow at the moment because there's it's just kind of warming up on spawn rate. I'm sure if I stood back on my angel block over here that it would start. Actually, speaking of which, let's just go ahead and do this instead. Um, just because the way that the mob farm is, it takes a little bit to actually get warmed up. Look at that spider go. Holy moly. But uh, it's just one of those that until we get the bigger and better vector plates, it's going to be very slow. So my plans on updating this farm, the only changes I'm going to make is once we can get the fast vector plates, the red ones, that's the time that we're also going to update the glass. That way it works all the time. During the daytime, they'll still spawn, no problems there. Everything will be great. But until then, it's just going to go very slow and only work at night, which... I guess I don't mind. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sky Factory 3. This has been part number 38. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below or maybe a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and bell icon and be notified when I upload more videos. As of today's recording, this is July 10th. Um, I'm getting ready to have my wisdom teeth removed on July 16th. Um, so this video will be going out after I am still kind of recovering from the pain <laughs> afterwards. Thankfully, I only have two wisdom teeth, but still, it's going to hurt a lot. So hopefully you guys will be patient with me as I endure that pain for a little bit to hopefully continue doing YouTube stuff because it's only now months like January was it started hurting I'm not gonna get too much into it but like uh, January was really hurting a lot and then it was totally fine and now all of a sudden it's starting to hurt really bad so uh, I'm glad I'm getting it taken care of before it gets really bad so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this episode I'll catch y'all in the next one cheers I could sit here and watch them all day honestly and just slowly go to their death I wonder what it sounds like up close let's let's find out Probably loud. I'm gonna guess loud. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos too. Are you new around here? Consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications so you get notified when I upload more. Thanks again and have a great day.